All right, you guys, picking up part three of the F-117 build. I think when we left off, we were doing some taping. Again, I taped all my, I had the little cracks from where we scored it. I went ahead and marked with lines to show you your pieces that we assembled. And if you can see in the light, you can see where I went ahead and taped. Everywhere where I want tape before I paint. I even went ahead and installed my little Dubro micro control horns. I installed them from the bottom up. There you can see one there. I need to cut off these pegs. Alright, I went ahead and left this uh, rear piece behind the thrust tube. I mean, you guys can go ahead and leave it too. If you want the looks of the corner still left there, then just go ahead and leave it. But I did cut a little 45 angle at the back here and then made it nice and smooth. All right, let's pick up on this here. All right, so we're taped off. I want to show you that I went ahead and traced out a canopy where I wanted to cut it. I already made my cut. You want to cut these at a 45, wherever I made the line. Just taking at a 45 down in there, all the way around. I'll show you a little secret to making these cuts. I say, see, I traced out some lines here. So I want to make a little hatch there. So go ahead and put your ruler up there, and you want to cut 45 in at an angle. For any of your hatches. Then we'll flip it around. And this way you guys can get some access panels to all your electronics. I really don't even use a ruler, I just know how to do it by hand. Again, I'm just making some 45 cuts. Again, leave your knife at a 45, cutting inward. That way your piece kind of fits like on the top of a pumpkin when you cut off the top of a pumpkin. Fits right back in its spot. That way it won't fall through or anything. That would take some tape. Wherever I put that tape. I'm going to put a tape to create a hatch. So there you go, there's how you make your nice little hatches. You know, just cut them all the all the cuts were 45s inward on all four sides. Now you got a nice hatch to get to your like if you want to unhook your exhaust tube and unhook the wires, you can get in there and do it. Here you just install all your electronics and your your battery. So I make all my hatches before I do my painting. Alright you guys, so we went over all that. Let's just go ahead and put these tails on real fast. As you see I drew a line, I put my ruler on top. And I made a nice line going all the way down the fuselage, top of the fuselage. Nice straight line, starting from the tip of the canopy, the tip of the tail here. That way I got a line to go off of, so we're putting these on. Let's go ahead and install these. Again, I'm only using hot glue on the tails because I don't want them coming off in flight. Go ahead and give it a nice little angle. We cut it at like a 35 degree angle on the bottom of these. That's our nice little angle we're looking for. Let's do the other side. Let's 
Sorry guys, I don't make, mean to make the videos so long and stuff, but I hate, I'd hate to edit any of them because then you might miss some steps along the way. So I mean, it's about probably an hour and 20 minutes worth of video, but it's worth it when you get your jet done and everything works good. So there we go, I just uh, stuck them on there and everything looks nice and tight. There's our thrust spreaders for our thrust exhaust thrusters here. Alright, so that's all set. So I'm going to take it over here to paint. I figured I'd show you now how I go ahead and paint them. Just so you guys know. There we have it. Oh, another thing before you paint, go ahead and just cut yourself some blue tape and stick them where you want, where you're going to be placing your servos. Because when you go to hot glue your servo on, you don't want it hot glued on to the top layer of some paint. The paint, paint will just give way and you don't want to crash as soon as you get the damn thing built. Find the same spot as the other one. Go off there. Try something like that. There we go. So I just went ahead and blue taped it again. Make sure you do all your clear taping first for paint. Take it over to the paint booth here. This is the part that my wife loves. She loves the smell of this stuff all through the house. Alright, I usually paint the inside of my hatches first. Go ahead and make sure your jet's nice and clean. I ain't got much black paint left, but I'll do what I can with what I got. Again, hold your can a good ways away too for your first prime coat. That way you ain't Putting this stuff on too thick and then adds weight to your plane. Alright, so I painted the inside of my hatches there. Wish I can get into that one a little further. Alright, now I, usually I, I'll hit inside the intakes first. Go ahead and try to get as far back in there as you can. Don't hold your can too close because then you can start getting some runs. Like I said, just a light coat, your first application. Let that set up for a second and then we'll hit it with our second coat. This testers dries nice and quick. I use the testers paint on all my jets. It doesn't melt the foam or anything. Make sure you get up inside those jet intakes. Try to cover all that white. I ain't gonna bother spraying the bottom. I'm just showing you this real quick here. Just like so, guys. It don't take much of this. Make sure I covered up all my white. Our 
she is all painted and see as you can see all the clear tape covered up all the imperfections where we made our score cuts and bent our pieces actually the tape gives it a look like it's all different angles of the body and stuff so I kinda like that look take it back over to the main laboratory here all right, here's one that I got finished up. You can see I got my, my hatches. I cut out for my thrust tube in the very back on mine. So I don't like nothing in the way. I really sacrificed the little corner hanging out there. The 30 millimeter one. You guys are going to love flying this one. It is one awesome jet. So after this would dry, if you want to start installing all your electronics, remember blow, pull off those uh, pieces of blue painter's tape. That way you can hot glue your servos right down with your control linkages here going to your elevons. As this paint dries, it gives it that nice flat, flat black look. Bear with me for a second, it'll dry up and just some of the other jets we've already done. I'll be moving into all this bigger stuff here after, probably after this build. Here's my little X-47. It's got the thrust vectoring nozzle on it. Here's one of the thrust tubes I built for another project coming up. I'll do a video on building this so that way on the X-47 you'll know what to do. It's really quite simple actually. There's carbon fiber rod in the center up in there as you can see. That way I get movement side to side and up and down. So when your servos are pulling on the top for your elevons, it goes up, back, forth, down. Alright you guys, there, there she is pretty much finished up. Hope you guys enjoy it. Sure is a nice jet. I'll get you some more builds going. Over and out.